All right, hey Pisces. So I'm doing a month overview for October and we're gonna see what the big themes are. Um, it's funny because Cancer was romantic. I just seen the romance, romance, romance. Scorpio was money, 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 money. Business, business. Um, so let's see what you guys have coming through. Hopefully it's a balance of, of both. Um, so if you guys are new, welcome. Um, this read's going to be done a little bit different than my other reads. So uh, I just felt drawn to do it this way. Um, so uh, if this doesn't resonate by your current self, please check those other placements. Um, and again, if you're new, I hope that you subscribe if you feel inclined. So let's see where you're at, Pisces. Your current self. Your current self, we got um, card number nine with Epiphany. Um, this is Archangel Raziel. Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. All right, this is um, like the hermit card. So you guys right now, I feel, are just kind of pulling back your energy from everybody and everything. This is being analytical. It's being thoughtful. And it could just be how to get from point A to point B. You know, um, I feel like right now, um, you guys could be embodying, um, uh, more of the spiritual aspect. I feel like this is a very spiritual card. And so it could just be trying to figure out where you're going to go next, what you're going to do next. Um, and it doesn't have to be all spiritual, spiritually based. It could just be that you're just pulling back your energy, trying to figure out where you fit in when it comes to life, when it comes to yourself, when it comes to who you are, um, you know, who fits, who doesn't fit in your life. I just feel like you're kind of just grazing through, um, all aspects of life, just wondering, um, who am I, you know? Um, I almost feel for some of you guys, you just feel like you don't belong here. Um, you know, star seed energy. So let's see what the overall theme is. You got the 10 of Michael, a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow the past, put the past behind you. All right. So this is basically you guys, um, this is good energy because your current self is kind of coming into that notion of, that, you know, you need to release something. So the overall theme for the month is, you know, that the past does not serve you moving forward. All right. And, um, also two new opportunities coming in for happiness. So you're going to be seeing that all throughout October, you're going to be seeing new opportunities and that could be in many different aspects in many different ways. So embrace new changes when they come through, when it comes to October, also, too, um, for example, if you're a single person and new love comes in, don't um, don't assume the worst because shit from the past hasn't worked out. OK, so I just feel like when new opportunities come in, so like, say, um, a business opportunity, a job opportunity, a love interest, you know, some something new comes in. What I feel like this is saying is don't compare this situation to the past because the past doesn't serve you and it didn't serve you for a reason. All right. So the Ten of Michaels as a theme just says that you're you're done out with the old and with the new. Um, a key goal to pursue for October. We have the Eight of Ariel. Um, take great pride in your excellent work practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. So a key goal to pursue. So if, if you guys are like on this, um, em, embarking on this spiritual journey, I feel meditation is going to come in really, really good for you. Um, simple as sitting, putting your palms out when you're going to meditation, put your palms out and call in all your spiritual and magical gifts. Um, it could just be that there's an elevation coming to you. And for others of you, it's like, this is a, the eight of uh, pentacles. This is the eight of coins. All right. So a key goal to pursue. Do you guys need a job? Do you need to work? Do you need a promotion? Are you looking for a raise? This is telling you to put your best foot forward. We don't, you know, closed mouths don't get fed is basically what this is saying. So if you've had your mouth closed over something that you're really wanting to see happen for you, it's time to open that mouth up because again, closed mouths don't get fed. All right. So um, a key goal I feel is, is going to be in, in any aspect. Um, you could have a crush on somebody. Closed mouths don't get fed. You know, how is a person supposed to know you exist if, if you don't talk to them? You know what I'm saying? So this is all about um, being in pursuit of what's going to make you happy. All right. Um, embrace those new beginnings with that 10 of Michael. Okay. So, um, sorry for the background noise. Um, anyways, so a key goal to pursue. 
no, I'm sorry, an obstacle to overcome. Uh, we have the, the Queen of Gabriel. Uh, I have this um, lying out because this is a new read. So <laughs> an obstacle to overcome. Um, this could actually be a human energy. It could be that you've dealt with um, an Aries or another Pisces uh, that, that doesn't really suit you very well. It could be that you um, are being your own worst critic. All right. And um, because this is coming through as uh, Aries and Pisces energy, for some of you guys, it could just be, you know, um, beating yourself up over things and it's time to stop doing that it's time to look at yourself as a beautiful beautiful brilliant human being the queen of gabriel comes through as passionate charming brilliant and independent okay you can do anything right now go after what you want and the ability to attract helpful people so it could be putting yourself down um having a low sense of self being an introvert um having low self-respect all right and um kind of lacking determination um you know, this is somebody who could also tend to be, um, um, self, self, self-confident, self-conscious when it comes to putting yourself out there too. Um, as far as obstacles to overcome, I just feel like this is saying you can do anything right now. It's how you believe in yourself. So if you guys have, feel, have felt lately that, uh, you know, things are just not working out the way you want it to, or something's just not happening in the way or, that you want it to, it's time to put a spin on that because you got to remember that our positive, um, thinking and our positive thoughts attract positive outcomes. Okay. So if you've had lower vibrational uh, feelings when it comes to yourself or where you are and kind of uh, being negative when it comes to your thought processes on you or how things will turn out for the future, friendships, people, you know, it's time to come out of that. You can't really help everybody. And I feel like with this, um, hermit card right here you're probably questioning a lot that's going on around you friends family you know um and you know it's don't let those people make you feel um low about who you are either you could have um, certain people in your um, energetic field that makes you feel lower and it's like no they they're making you feel um it's like for it's like when you speak your truth and, and people don't agree with you. Um, some of you guys could actually be going through this spiritual journey and you can't find anybody. Um, you know, you couldn't pay a million dollars to somebody to be on your page of thinking. All right. And I just feel like it's it's saying don't let those people um, bring you down when it comes to uh, disagreeing with you at best. You know, just continue to live your life and be your best self. And you're, you'll start to see everything fall away from you that doesn't belong there. All right. Um, a major accomplishment coming to you guys. We have the King of Michael. This is somebody who's principled, rational, ambitious, and respected. All right. So a major accomplishment coming. It could just be that you're going to be put in this position of the King of Swords. All right. This is somebody who has mental clarity, intellectual power, authoritative, um, very truthful and honest, um, and can be quiet sometimes. Okay. And it could be too, that you're stepping into this new role where you're stepping back from everybody and, and actually having an honest view of what's going on around you. Um, so a major accomplishment coming to you, wisdom and objectivity are important now. So stay within your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. Um, so this could be in regards to um, a person that you've been having conflict with somebody that hasn't been their true authentic self. This is just, it's time to get open and honest with this individual. Um, and you know, you might like what I'm seeing here is you might have people falling, falling away from you. Um, you know, in your immediate circle, but there could be one person that you really don't want to lose as an energy. And it's time to just open up those doors and have um, that clear communication. Um, I feel like this is probably somebody that you struggle with um, and struggle with often. Um, if you think about the, the queen of Michael, the queen of swords, that can often be a divorced, bitter energy. And um, it doesn't have to be the queen. Okay. So if there's somebody that you really just need to have a, a fruitful conversation with, um, now's the time to do it. And you guys will do it and it will be successful. All right. Especially if this person um, weighs a, a pretty good on your heart space. Okay. Um, what to avoid. We have solutions coming through success that comes from um, objective compromise. So success that comes from objective compromise. So this is seeing a bigger picture here. So this coming through as what to avoid it. It's what it's saying is you have to have a, an objective point of view when it comes to the situations around you, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. 
this is all about um, being understanding and patience. Okay. Um, so this is when you run out of patience, when you get short tempered, um, you know, when you don't understand how other people operate is it's not saying to keep it to yourself, but, um, present yourself in that, that, uh, situation in a different light. Okay. So if you dealt like say over here with this King of Michael, um, say it's an ex and it's somebody you don't have a very good relationship with. All right. It's, it's what it's saying is see, um, everything from both sides, both yours and their side. Okay. Um, see everything from an, an, a, an opposing or with an objective point of view, I should say success comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. Um, so this coming through with what to avoid, it's also to uh, having those positive thoughts about those people that need it. So you're going to know people in your energy zone that don't agree with you. All you can do is send them love and healing energy. Um, and that, that sometimes that's all we can do. And it doesn't mean that, uh, the situation is going to get any better. Um, and sometimes it, the situation could get worse just, um, handling those situations. So I feel like this is more about your own spiritual, this, this whole thing right here is just your spiritual journey, um, or just people that don't serve you. It doesn't have to be all spiritual, but I feel like you guys are coming into relationships at, in all standpoints that, that really don't you know that they're going to serve you. They're not going to serve you or they will serve you. Um, and, and that's just being your, being in your, your circle, right? Um, that's just what I see here. Um, what to embrace the ace of Michael. You have a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. All right. So what to embrace is I just feel like there is somebody here you guys may have had problems with, okay? And I feel like this person is very, very important to you in some aspect of your life, all right? I don't feel like you guys have but one person coming through that you just has really been struggling with. There's going to be a new opportunity, a, a brand new opportunity to come through with this person. And, you know, regardless of the circumstances, I feel like this person is very near and dear to your heart. So what you can embrace is there is going to be a new opportunity, a successful new opportunity to move forward with this person, all right? Um, this feels, yeah, very personal. Um, where to find support? You have the Knight of Raphael. So you guys could know Scorpio energy, Libra energy. Um, this Knight of Raphael, as far as your support network, doesn't have to be a specific um, sign. It doesn't have to be a Scorpio or Libra. It could just be somebody who's very, very uh, uh, um, not non non-biased so they don't um, try to interject their own self or their own opinions into that they see everything openly um, this is also somebody coming through that you can uh, be um, romantic with dramatic with poetic and somebody that sheds introspection all right um, as a support network this is somebody um, who is committed so if you are with somebody romantically it's kind of turning back to that person for support um, and this is more of the romantic in nature. So, um, and it could just be some people that you love. It doesn't have to be all romantic all the time. Cause the Knight of cups is also somebody who's very creative. Um, you know, somebody who is, um, balanced. All right. Not overactive. Um, not somebody who's, uh, uh, being unrealistic or moody all the time. All right. And I just feel like this is more about, um, connecting with those people that you love and that, you know, love you. And, you know, you might count on one hand, how many of those people you have, but as we become adults and especially as we shift into the spiritual aspects, literally you'll be able to count on one hand, how many people are in your circle. Right. Um, so your overall advice when it comes to, October, you got the two of Michael. So it will all be better if you just make a decision, um, over analyzing a problem and finding a compromise. And I feel like that's where you guys have set this whole, this, this whole read is, 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 is basically overcoming problems with other people or one other person, I should say. So I feel like there's just with you Pisces, um, energies. I just feel like there's somebody that's very near and dear to your heart or somebody that's, that's not going to be able to leave your life that easily that you can't, you know, it could be a mom, it could be a dad, it could be a brother, it could be a sibling, it could be an ex, it could be somebody you have children with, um, you know, and you're just like, how do I navigate the rest of this life with this person? Yet I don't want to see anything bad happen, but there is no, um, there's no drawback from it. So that's where that, that hermit card comes in. And I feel like, look at you in the, you in the read with your overall advice, it will be better if you make a decision over analyzing a problem, finding a compromise in your current self. 
the epiphany, joy through spiritual growth and a light to others, answers that come through meditation. So really meditate, pray about the situation at hand with whoever it is. Um, but you're going to see clarity on what to do with this. And sometimes, you know what, it's, it's sometimes it's easy just to take a step back altogether. Um, you guys, I've done that with my own family. I've taken step back to where we used to hang out all the time and we just, we grow apart and you, and you got to know that you're not doing anything wrong just because you grow apart. All right. Um, for whoever's still here, if anyone's still here, I appreciate you listening to all this. I know that this is a very specific read. It's not for everybody, but I do hope that if, if you've listened to the whole thing, you'll let me know who it is I'm talking to. And I just hope that this coming October, even though this not, it doesn't feel like the most excited of excited reads, um, you will have clarity with somebody that I feel is very, very important to your heart space. All right. I'm going to leave it there. Pisces, you guys take care.